So we're going to carry on then for the moment with the ruminant uh, theme. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, beef and sheep. Um, so, um, I mean, in fact, none of our speakers really need an introduction, but out of politeness, I, uh, I will. So, Kim Matthews, you, uh, uh, you, you all know, uh, maybe you'll know Kim uh, as head of R&D at AHDB on beef and lamb side, but, uh, but um, he's, uh, he's recently uh, changed his job title, so I'll introduce him more formally as the head of animal breeding and product quality at AHDB. Kim, over to you. Thank you, Nick. It, it was good to hear John talking about breadth and depth and uh, the combination of expertise and facilities. I think those are themes which I hopefully will be mirrored throughout, throughout the day. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the beef and sheep research capability. I think um, the key thing is, is about industry impact. That's what we all want to achieve. That's what CL uh, was developed for. And to do that, what we're doing is bringing together systems of production, a range of systems of production. Again, mirroring the, what happens in dairy, we have a range of different systems in the beef and sheep side, together with <clears throat> a range of measurements that we have, tools for measurements that, that we have. So, so what are those systems? So we have grazing livestock, both intensive uh, grazing systems and more extensive grazing systems. Uh, we have high input systems for, for rapid growth of animals, and we have forage-fed animals, both at pasture and uh, the ability to feed forage through individual uh, feeding units. So uh, a breadth of systems, particularly on the beef side, but also, also on the sheep side. So what has the capability been developed within CL uh, to do? Uh, so we can measure individual, uh, well, we will be able to, I don't think this is all in place quite yet, but we will be able to measure individual intake for sheep. Uh, the first system, I believe, in the UK, and I'm not aware of, of much going on in Europe, where we can actually measure in sheep intakes of forage-based diets uh, at, at the level of detail that we will be able to. We have expanded individual feed intake systems in cattle as well, uh, increasing the capacity and extending that so that we can measure intake in, uh, in mature animals, in, in um, suckler cows. We will have precision, or oh, I think I've, I've perhaps just said that, precision automated feeding for housed adult and growing cattle. Uh, so bringing adult cattle in where, where perhaps there have been not much facility for that in the past and the ability to measure individual concentrate water and forage uh, intake in sheep. So the, 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 the capacity is there to do much more detailed studies in terms of, of, of nutrition and intake in, in those animals. And then uh, you'll recognize those of you that, that know it, the farm platform at North Wyke on the right there. So not only can we measure what's happening to the animals, but also what the impact of that is in the environment. So the environmental impact in those grazing systems with precision grazing platforms at, at more than one site to look at both cattle and sheep. And with, with the ability to measure uh, remotely weighing, concentrate feeding and behavior monitoring uh, in those graze systems. Uh, and then when we drill down, we can, we can do things at a more detailed level, measuring performance in detailed studies. So uh, calimetri cal uh, can't say that word. Uh, digestibility assessment so that we're uh, complementing existing chambers. Um, the ability to, to capture slurry in a compartmentalized way so that you can look at the slurry output from animals that have been... Uh, treat it subjected to different treatments and individual respiration chambers and I, I think this illustrates uh, also how it's very difficult within CL to put things in boxes so I'm supposed to be talking about uh, beef and sheep but actually these will also be suitable for pigs uh, and other small ruminants so who knows maybe there's even people out there who want to do some research on goats but also calves uh, obviously would, would be uh, suitable for those. Uh, feed evaluation uh, de detailed feed evaluation, perhaps something which uh, hasn't been available at, at an academic level uh, for, for a number of years, really. And looking at metabolism and rumen function, so the ability to measure nutrient fluxes across the gut, 
to determine the utilization of substrates and metabolites, uh, both in terms of digestion and how those are used at the different tissue levels. And, and then there are new tools uh, that we can bring to play to measure body composition. We will have a, a mobile scanner, computer tomography scanner, uh, which will enable us to measure both live animals, particularly sheep, um, possibly also, also pigs, certainly carcasses or meat cuts. So this is very flexible. It can move to where the animals are or to where populations of animals are, to, so we're not uh, tracking animals all across the country for this. And, and of course, uh, I probably don't need to tell you, but CT can measure aspects of composition and shape, tissue volume, muscle and fat distribution, skeletal traits, number of vertebra, for example, uh, are all traits that we could measure with CT. And then uh, new tools for measuring, and I haven't a clue what these things are, I have to say. Um, I, I feel a bit vulnerable. I, so I think I'm the only presenter here who doesn't have an academic to hold my hand. So you'll just have to trust me. These are great bits of kit, okay, for, for measuring landscape level emissions. Um, and, and the ability to mo mo measure behavior with new tools, monitoring uh, location and proximity between animals to look at behavior. In fact, a, a quite separate conversation yesterday talking about cow, cow calf behavior <clears throat> and um, what's the difference between cows that lose their calves. These are suckler cows we're talking about, cows that lose their calves and cows that, that keep hold of their calves. Uh, and the ability to monitor that without actually having to follow them around fields is, is really useful. Um, and we will be linking across to a wide range of the precision tools that are available and going to become increasingly available through our colleagues in AgriEpi, many of whom are also partners, many of the partners are, are also organizations that are represented here. So there is a direct uh, link across with, with AgriEpi in that way. Uh, and finally, I've, I've deliberately not said where all of these things are because this is about working together. This is about uh, uh, expertise across the room. And, and another thought as I, as I sat there listening I, that came out was let's not limit our thinking to what we can do with the facilities we've invested in. They've been a great catalyst to bring us together. Uh, but now we're together. Let's think about how the brains that we have within CL can best be brought to bear on the problems the industry needs to address. So, so to quote that, uh, that famous uh, management guru that I, I'm sure you'll all know, well, you will if you have children, working together, they'll get the job done. <laughs> <laughs>